It happened quickly. Maybe five minutes, max 10. Thieves striking in the middle of the night with an iron wrench in hand. The front right tire removed from this car, rolled down the driveway. All four tires and rims stolen in the same fashion. The Honda Civic left to rest on cinder blocks. How I felt angry. Tayyub Afzal says he immediately filed a police report after seeing this surveillance video at his house. I wasn't too surprised. I saw this thing going around, which is not a good thing to hear that, you know, I'm not surprised. How often is this happening? Stockton police say there were 134 vehicle tire thefts in 2022 and 22 so far in 2023. I think a week or two ago, another house on Angelina got robbed as well, Toyota Camry. Then another house, and then when we asked the lady on Angelina, she said another family also got robbed next to them. So that's four houses just in this area. Afzal's rims and tires aren't custom. They are standard manufactured parts, but they're still worth thousands. They were quoted at, um, from Stockton Honda, $9,000. Afzal says he found his tires and rims being sold for cheap online. There was a little bit of damage to my wheel here. And so when I saw that, I was like, this is exactly my wheel. And I see them right after I get robbed. KCRA 3 Investigates found other listings for tires and rims being sold on Facebook. It's happening regional, so you can find it all over the internet. Investigating these crimes can be complicated. The hard part is like identifying the actual uh, suspect and then behind that, identifying the actual item. Tires and rims don't have any identifying markers or serial numbers to indicate that they belong to you. Now, this can make an investigation difficult, and it can also be challenging if these parts are being resold to determine they belong to you. There's that hopeless feeling like, okay, if I get robbed, I can't do anything. Police say it's not just happening in Stockton, and they're hoping to work with other agencies to crack down. I think it's going to take a team effort to try to get this, get a hold of this. We put in a public records request with various police departments in our region to see how many of these crimes are happening. When we get the information, we'll be sure to pass it along. Brittany Johnson, KCRA 3 Investigates. Now to help protect your vehicle, Stockton Police advise the following. Park under a bright light, utilize a garage or secured parking if you can, and get wheel locks to create an extra layer of protection for your wheels. They also say any surveillance video can help them in an investigation.